I'm Nick Palmer and I'm here to tell you that GMOs have been proliferating through our society at a rapid pace. Even though most opponents to GMOs focus on their potential human health risk and how they're not labeled, the real harms of GMOs are actually to the environment. And there are essentially two main environmental harms that GMOs create. First, genetically modified foods exacerbate deadly herbicide use. 84% of all GM crops are designed to be used with a particular class of herbicides called glyphosates, or more commonly known as Roundup. The reason that these crops are modified to be herbicide resistant is to escape the main disadvantage of using herbicides, which is that strong herbicides do not usually just kill the weeds that they're designed to target, they also kill the crops. Thus, GM companies have to design crops to be resistant to the most dangerous pesticides. And because these crops become resistant to herbicides, farmers can dump massive amounts of pesticides more than ever before without worrying about killing the crops. This has led to an increase in the use of Roundup by 180 times in the last 15 years. The drastic overuse of herbicides has caused two main harms. First, the overuse of Roundup kills microbes necessary for soil decomposition, which in turn leads to making the soil unable to grow crops. Second, Roundup overuse has created 24 Roundup resistant weeds that are capable of completely choking out crops. There is, therefore, in order, to, in order to combat these new weeds, GM companies are developing new versions of these pesticides that are more dangerous than ever before. A common defoliant is called 2,4-D, better known as the main ingredient to Agent Orange. To explain this, let's go to the thought bubble. Non-GM plants would be killed by herbicides, such as Roundup. So when farmers are spraying, they have to cover the weed and nothing else. However, when genetic modification makes the plant herbicide resistant, farmers can spray infinitely more of the herbicide without worrying about killing their crops. This leads to a lot of harms, which include making the soil inert and preventing the plant from growing food. John Lynn will now explain more harms. Thanks, Thought Bubble. I'm Jonathan Lin, and I'm here to tell you that these newly designed GM crops will cause 2,4-D to, co to increase 50-fold with serious consequences. First, 2,4-D is 400 times more toxic than Roundup. It kills off numerous plants and animals in the ecosystem, including pollinators. Additionally, these 2,4-D herbicides are scientifically proven to cause a variety of human health problems, including nausea, nervous system damage, and cold. However, the most serious health concern is that 2,4-D exposure triples the likelihood of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is fatal in nearly one out of three cases. Second, genetically modified foods eliminate pollinators. 40% of GM foods are Bt crops, which are modified to be toxic to certain pests in the environment. However, Bt crops are vulnerable to other insects because this primary pest, such as cornworms, are killed off and can no longer moderate the secondary pest populations. Thus, pest populations like aphids spiral out of control. Therefore, to kill secondary pests, virtually every Bt variety must be treated with a variety of neonicotinoids or neonics. Since the introduction of neonics in the mid-2000s, they have been the fastest growing insecticides in the world due to the fact that they are used to treat nearly all GM Bt crops. As a result, bee populations have begun to decline as much by, as, by as much as 60% in some areas. This is problematic because Italian scientists have recently identified these neonics as the primary culprit in colony collapse disorder when they found elevated neonics levels in hives that were seriously to die off. Normal crops like corn are destroyed by cornworms, which destroy a lot of yield. So, in order to increase their profits, farmers genetically modify their crops to be insect resistant. However, this leads to secondary aphids to come and destroy the crop. So, Farmers spray neocognoids so that the aphids will die. And neocognoids are safe and have no problems. No! When bees come and pollinate the crops, they pick up these neocognoids. These chemicals interfere with their nervous system and prevent them from getting back to their hive, directly affecting their reproduction and their hive populations. MaxFam will now go into depth on this topic. My name is Max Pham and I'll conclude this announcement. Colony collapse disorder has not been seen in Italy since the Italian government banned the use of neonics, directly proving colony collapse disorder is caused by GMOs and neonics. What is even more pressing is that if colony collapse disorder continues at current rates, 
honeybees will be extinct by 2035. Without bees, $117 billion in agricultural products would be lost per year. Also, bees are the primary pollinators of 76% of, of the leading food crops in the world. Without pollinators, food production will, be, will decline in the future. So ensure, ensuring the survival of bees is necessary to create more food. So now you have been informed on the dangers of genetically modified foods. Hopefully you will be more cautious during your selection of products at the grocery store.